morning. It's 5 a.m. and we're here at the Kenaitse Indian Tribal Educational Net with Kenaitse Tribal member John Ross. And uh, good morning. Good morning. He's here showing us how to uh, how they fish for reds here at the Educational Tribal Net. And uh, he was just telling me about the tide coming in. Yeah, the tide coming in is uh, a special metaphor that the tribe is using right now and in the Dena'ina language we say which means the tide is turned around and it's coming back in and we're using it as uh, a metaphor for what has happened to us historically over the last 100 plus 200 years um, with uh, our culture kind of going away and our language but now things have kind of changed and things have turned around and, are, and the tide is coming back in. That's, so that's the uh, analogy we're using. And we're here right now with the tide coming back in and we're fishing. So it's a good day. That's great. I mean, I think it's really, uh, it's amazing just driving around Kenai. You see the caribou are coming back. Yeah. Um, getting nets full of fish and, and language and cultures coming back all at the same time. It's really exciting for your tribe right now. Yes, it is. And um, using our traditional foods and our traditional plants. And so that's what we're going to highlight today with David Segura and his daughters. Uh, we're going to be down the beach here uh, picking some different greens off the beach. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll have to find out from them what all that is going to be about. What we're looking for is the bright green leaves here. The stems are a red and green stem. Each stem comes up, it's got three leaves. Each leaf has three points, which is fitting because our denial lucky number is three. So we try to find the smaller leaves, like here. And we just take the tops of it because we don't want to harvest the whole stem. We just Take, take it off and then when we dry it it's like like this and once it's dried then we grind ours and so and then basically they're so dry we just put them in a ziploc and we can crush them grind it and put it on your fish when you're baking it and you get the flavor in there and it's unbelievable oh, fish and if you slice it we don't chop it up real fine when we're using it fresh but as we're chopping, you can smell you can smell it coming out, and so all that goes right into the fish. Unbelievable fish! This morning, we fished a five, 5 a.m. tide. We also went down the beach with David Segura and his girls. We we collected wild parsley, took one of the fish, and David filleted it and. He cooked us up right on the fire on the beach, red salmon with wild parsley, and it was it was very good. One of the things that we're focusing and, and learning is bringing back our traditions about harvesting and how we harvest in a traditional manner. Since we don't really use learn those kind of things in in our public education system. up to the elders to pass on that knowledge and for us to spend time with our families. That's one of the things that we have going on at the Kanaitse tribe, part of our cultural revitalization. And uh, I hope that some of you will be able to try that as well. Um, and that you'll be able to um, bring back or practice the traditions that you have in your areas.